reality shows are a big hit because, as the name suggests, they document real lives of people. Thus, they are not all about happiness, but also sadness, just like real life. Today, let us learn about such tragedies that struck the cast of American Pickers. If you have clicked on this video looking at our title, then the first thing you want to know is who died in American Pickers. Before we talk about who died, it is important to talk about who didn't, since the first thing that comes on the internet when you look it up is the name of Frank Fritz. Frank Fritz is alive and well. What led to the 55-year-old's death rumors was his sudden weight loss between season 8 and 9. Fans were not completely wrong to worry about the weight loss since it was the cause of a health complication. You see, Frank Fritz suffers from Crohn's disease, an incurable inflammatory bowel disease that can be fatal or lead to malnutrition. Fortunately, Frank eased up the minds of many worried supporters by revealing that he was eating well and exercising as his weight loss was planned and welcomed. Fritz has also been suffering with Crohn's for 40 years now and it is not a new deal to him. There was one death at American Pickers, but not of a cast member. Back in season 18, episode 6, Hider's Hideaway, Frank and Mike went to Stoughton to check a toy collector, Algus John Morcunis. Consider how our shock when at the end, the show creators decided to pay the episode as a tribute in memory of Al, who has reportedly passed away around a month after Frank and Mike's visit. Their decision to dedicate the episode in memory of Al, who had appeared in it, touched the heart of many viewers. Frank Fritz may not have come close to death, but he has found himself on the other side of the law a couple of times. Firstly, a Jerry Bruce from Greenville, South California, took Frank to court after he paid Fritz $300 for farm equipment but never received it. We don't have the exact details from the court proceedings, since it was a trivial case, but Fritz claimed that he did an honest mistake of forgetting the whole deal and hadn't even cashed the $300 check given to him. The court ruled in Bruce's side, but we don't if Frank had to pay a huge fine or not. Similarly, in 2017, Frank was pulled over in his truck after multiple complaints of his swerving and going the wrong way on the intersection. The police officers who stopped him also saw him swerving and gave him a sobriety test that he failed. So they arrested him for driving under the influence and had to pay a fine for $625 in court costs, as well as attend rehabilitation and unsupervised probation. Fritz has said that he was under the influence of Xanax, but it was medically prescribed for his anxiety. Tattooed female host Danielle Colby may not have anything as serious as getting arrested or attending court, but she reportedly had not paid $6,000 in back taxes for her boutique shop, Four Miles to Memphis. Not only did Danielle not pay up that money, but continued to ignore at least four other letters sent by the government to pay up until 2015. The matter has since long been settled, but it is still quite scandalous and could have meant serious prison time for Danielle Colby.